Even though there are many problems with being a professor, it's one of the most rewarding jobs in the entire world. And what I want to do here today is to share with you one of my personal reasons why I want to be a professor. And I'm sure that this is a common reason among professors also. So nearly every professor in the entire world is going to do some amount of teaching and some amount of research. And one of the biggest reasons why I'm a professor has something to do with teaching. And it's not actually teaching specifically, although that is very rewarding in and of itself. No, my personal reason is actually what happens in office hours or sometimes after class. So if you're here on this channel because of the theory videos I put out, you know that I teach not necessarily easy classes. The class Classes that are very theoretical, very mathematical. And one of the reasons why I like being a professor is that there are some students who just can't understand the material and then eventually get it. And I want to give you some insight into how these kind of inspirational moments happen for me. So try to imagine being a professor and you're teaching these really hard subjects and you have this student who's having trouble with the material, who's coming to you and asking for help. And this usually happens after class or sometimes in office hours. And it's often the case that these students are not very happy because one, they're not understanding the material, and two, it usually is the case that in high school and maybe in earlier classes that they were just getting it 100%. Now they're finally in a class that's really challenging them more than they probably think they can handle. And here's how office hours work usually for me. What I do is I try to ask probing questions and not actually giving away the answer. So then I ask, what if we did this? Or what do you know at this point? Instead of just saying, solve this problem for me. And then after that, I'll assess how well you know the material, which is something that I don't really like doing. So there are usually some spots, some pain points that happen, especially in a theoretical context, that are kind of hard for nearly every student to get past, but for struggling students is an absolute pain to get past. And the way that that usually happens in my classes is with proofs. So they have to be able to present a valid proof of some really complicated statement, some very mathematical statement, that is very logical. And that's maybe thinking in a way that they haven't ever done before, where you have to say, I'm going to be proving this statement, and then at this point I know that this is true, so therefore I'm going to assume that it's true, and then from that I can logically deduce these statements x, y, and z, and then so on and so forth, and trying to navigate a way to a certain goal where they have to be able to prove the statement starting from not necessarily anything. So what inspires me to continually teach these really hard subjects for these students who one, are required to take the class, and two, are probably not happy taking it because they're having trouble understanding the material. So the thing is that there is this really tiny moment, and this little moment that happens is the main reason why I like being a professor. So here's what happens. I'm giving these probing questions to this student and trying to get them a little closer to explaining the proof, and they are right at one of these pain points. And there's a certain set of words, and it's different for every student, but there's a certain set of words that I say that makes them do this. Their mouth opens just a little bit, and then their eyes open very subtly like this. And that little movement right there of their mouth and their eyes signals to me that they actually fully understand, or at least someone understand, where I'm trying to go. And then now they are able to say, oh, now I have to think in this way. And that little moment right there is so inspirational to me. And no matter all of the bureaucracy or potential bureaucracy and administrative overhead that professors have to deal with and that I have to deal with, it does not matter. All of that is wiped away for that little moment that we get to see anytime we're helping a struggling student. So leave in the comments any interesting or inspirational moments that you've had, either as a student or for those who are professors when you are teaching or doing research for that matter. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.